It's been just one day after the launch of Affinity V2, this strange new mistress in my life. You know, one time my ex dyed her hair and I woke up beside a redhead and I felt guilty. And I have that same shock and pleasure using these new apps with that new car smell. This is the top 10 best features in Affinity V2. This video is tilted towards Affinity Designer. I obviously love all of the apps, but I use Affinity, Affinity Designer the most. And I'm actually relieved that it's called V2 because I can't actually say Affinity without putting a D into the middle. So this list is a countdown. Stick around for number one. You're not going to believe it. I still can't believe it. Let's go. Yeah. Number 10, Affinity Publisher on iPad. It is amazing, holy smokes. Will people use this exclusively without the desktop? I doubt it, but ideal for doing layouts, tweaks, and, you know, client meetings. Number nine, DWG files and DXF files. You can now bring these straight into the Affinity apps. And even if you're not in the architectural world, these proprietary file formats owned by AutoCAD You've dealt with them before if you're in the graphic design biz. People always send them to you. Can you dress these up? Can you use them? And this one in, con in conjunction with the next one, number eight, the measure and scale tools. This moves the, the Affinity family into a whole new bunch of people's lives. People in the architecture and interior design world can now use these apps. Uh, I love it. Not sexy, but very, very useful. Number seven, X-ray mode, a whole new way of looking at your files. So this is all vector. And when you go into X-ray mode, you can see that it's displayed in a whole new way. It gives you a sort of depth. Like it really does look like an X-ray and it takes a while to learn how to read it. But I love this. Great for finding those problem areas. There he is animated, whoa. Number six, Live Mesh Warp. Listen, what do you want from me? The app has only been released one day. It's only out a day and I cannot get this to work the way it should be for this demo. Uh, for mock-ups, this is the way to go. You can non-destructively mesh your things. I'm a bit dopey today. There's potato blood in my veins. I have potato blood in my veins. Go cool, man, on to the next one. Number five, this is a biggie. The layers panel, the UI in general, but the layers panel. Check this out. You can now right click on the layer and assign your tag color. Just like that, you can unlock, access your FX without actually opening anything. Uh, really streamlined and so much, so much more responsive and snappier. When you drag in a bitmap, it gets a specific bitmap icon. Vectors have a vector icon. The snozberries taste like snozberries. This is the way it should have been at the start and they figured it out. Um, very visually easy to see where you are, how things are stacked into each other and this is a massive step in the right direction snapping things or tucking things into each other has never felt more snuggy like that oh there you go whoa whoa let's slow things down a little who am i and what's going on my name's bob i'm a comic artist from dublin i live in spain excuse the sore throat today but actually over in dublin last week i'm making comics in uh, directly in the Affinity apps. It is amazing for making comics and I'm going to prove the world. I'm going to show the world how it can be done. So this is 180 pages of comic art created in the Affinity apps. Check out my website. Links are below. The book has not been announced yet, but if you're an Affinity fan or a comic fan, or both, this is the one for you. The Affinity apps have given me so much flexibility because I can draw with the pixel persona and then immediately color and letter all at the same time and but wait there's more because it's all made within publisher it's print ready using vectors as the coloring the preferred coloring way and by making this graphic novel i have uncovered a wealth of information here's a freebie for you here's a little tip when you want to make a comic page in affinity publisher or any of the affinity apps draw a rectangle and then boolean that's shift add or shift minus another rectangle and then you can just instantly make your comic pages like this so easy and so adaptable new graphic novel on the way subscribe to the channel get onto me youtube or me with me website for more of these shenanigans uh, it's gonna be fun i really enjoyed and learned a lot using the affinity apps for making comics and if you're not into me comics, go to my, my day job. If you're looking to learn Japanese, Chinese, Arabic, Korean, I make 
flashcards and educational products all in the Affinity apps. Available on Amazon, the app store at drmoco.com number four. The knife tool, now this, this is a biggie. So you can see that the, the bear's arm here is all vector. Now just by dragging the knife tool around his arm, there you go, chopped off. Um, you can slice across on, on the man's jacket there, a nice straight line. And there you go, you can see his, his torso. And through the magic of uh, Bass Street Kids level humor, we can just, you know, draw his bum in behind there. Yeah, sorry if my me, me voice is a bit croaky. I, I was over in Dublin for for a few days, and I don't know. I don't know what, what's what's wrong with Irish people. I mean, me me being one of them, we can say that. You know what I mean? But number three, shape builder. Now this is going to change your life if you're already using the Affinity apps, and if not, no bother. Welcome to the V two way of doing things. So shape builder makes allows you to make solid solid well-designed shapes by subtracting adding and messing around with vector shapes uh, and building with them here's me using it for the first time i think and i can't wait to keep uh, fiddling around with this one it's intuitive but it takes a little bit of getting used to it but the, the shape builder is definitely one of my favorites number two we're getting close to number one here vector warp this is an incredible addition in V2. Uh, you have probably have an idea of what it does, but in, in this picture, in this uh, composition, everything's vector, and I will usually keep moving things around and, and remaking things until I'm happy with the layout. But now with vector warp, look at this. This would save me so much time if I had this tool when I was originally creating it, and it was definitely gonna help in all of my compositions going forward. So. There you go, that's it done. That's exactly what I was trying to do. Uh, a nice solid grandfather grandfather clock will be curving like that. That's what the picture was, was missing. Uh, now, time to toot my own flute here a little bit. This is the next video, and there will be a next video, you've been warned, will be based on this, this, uh, this composition using my Shizzle asset pack available exclusively on the Affinity Store. Um, it's a little trailer for the chisel coming up, but oh, here it is right now. So the chisel allows you to add handmade textures and a whole world of magic with one click to your vector shapes. Go get it. It's uh, I, I love it and there's a big update coming here, number one. So this is where I realized that I actually messed up and there's two number ones. So this is number, this is number one and the next one is zero. Number one is the style dropper i believe it's called so this is a comic that i made this is the first thing that, I, that i've made in v2 and you can see it's all vector each thing is a is a its own separate chunk and these two panels here you can see at the back there's a lovely uh, gradient on that lamp shade so imagine if i could just magically apply that this this beautiful gradient to anything in that file. So with the style dropper, here comes the hot stepper. Oh, you click it, it, it loads like like paint onto your palette. You can see up there there's there's a load and clear. And then bam, that's it. The main use of this is for text. So when you have a big text document in publisher and you want to copy like a paragraph style or a text style, you can you can do the same. But in the graphics end end of things it's amazing this is going to change my game completely so you can see there's a picture frame in the background it's a simple rectangle and i can select the the outline width the outline color of that in one click and then i could plop it onto the the lamppost zero oh, here we go it wasn't a lamppost it was a, it was a, a lamp zero no number 10 what are we talking about a number there yeah, number one is uh, so there's 11 I messed up it's called uh, it's actually on the website they don't make a big deal about it which is amazing for me this is my favorite feature so in the pixel persona or in the photo persona I'm drawing I picked a native pencil brush and since the dawn of time P 
people have been struggling to remember what brush they actually used as they're working. But now when you click the little paintbrush icon in your layer, you can now retrieve the, well necessarily the name, you just click on the icon and it sw switches you back to the last brush that you used or rather the brushes used in that file. Now I believe it right now it doesn't save that information when you save the file you won't be able to open it back up and figure out what brushes you use but in the act in the moment as you know that so here for example on screen i've switched from a pencil to a nice ink brush and it's usually the case you'll say oh, wait a minute i want to go back to the pencil brush you don't remember the name what it's called but now with this new last brush remembered i think that's what it's called i don't know what it's called you can like this, tap that, bloop, and you can see the three brushes that I use can now be reselected. I think, I, like it's not it's not on the, the website in all of the new features, but nice one, Neil, it's brilliant. So that's the end, sorry I messed up the count, there's 11. I'm Affinity's biggest fan, I'm also one of Affinity's biggest uh, producers, I make all my stuff in Affinity. Uh, thank you so much for making it to the end, links below.